best stop so far in the Appleton Tent. 100%. <laughs> We're James and Alex. We travel full time, ticking off places around the world and sharing with you our experiences in each place. <laughs> Bloody flies. We are road tripping around Australia, exploring everything there is to see and do across this beautiful country. In our last vlog, we shared with you Wallaman Falls, our first step into tropical North Queensland. This part of Australia is home to some of the most beautiful places in the world. It's the only place where two world UNESCO heritage sites meet with the Daintree Rainforest and the Great Barrier Reef. But today we're sharing with you our guide to exploring the best waterfalls in the Atherton Tableland region, which is just an hour south of Cairns. We are making the three hour road trip up the coast to the Atherton Tablelands, but there's one waterfall we wanted to include in this list, which is just south of the Atherton region, Atty Creek. Well, that was definitely worth trekking to. Only a 700 meter walk from the car park. And you're greeted with this, which is pretty awesome and so refreshing. So after that quick dip in Atty Creek, we arrived at our first stop in the Atherton Tablelands, which is... Babinda Boulders. Babinda Boulders. Babinda. Strong currents, submerged objects, and drop off. Portion is strongly advised in this area. So be careful. I don't think we'll be going swimming in this bit. I mean, the water is incredibly clear. I somehow, even though I've gone nowhere near the water, got a leech on my foot and it wouldn't stop bleeding. Oh no! It's like Sri Lanka all over again. And the next one on the list, Josephine Falls. So Josephine Falls is actually only a 20 minute drive from where we were at Babinda Boulders. So something to bear in mind when you are traveling around this area of tropical North Queensland. So at Babinda Boulders, we were like sweating because it was so hot and here it's freezing. When Alex says it's freezing, it's like probably 20 degrees. It's cold. The big question is, are we going to go for a swim today? <laughs> right now I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe. So it does say here that we can actually swim at the bottom pool and the middle creek. But we can go as far as a viewing platform. But I believe I can hear people, you can hear them screaming now. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> like a theme park scream. It's strong pull. Oh my god, I'm watching the people get pulled down. Like, it looks like quite strong current still. Looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> there are people of all ages enjoying the natural slide. <laughs> So I don't think we have to justify <laughs> why you should come here based on all of our screams, all the fun we had. Who needs a water park when you can come and have a fresh water jungle waterfall slide? <laughs> Honestly, it was just so much fun. We did it about five times each. It's so worth it. So fun. The best stop so far in the African table. 100%. <laughs> So Josephine Falls was definitely going to be hard to beat, but next on our list is a waterfall that requires a little bit of a hike to get to, Nandroya Falls. So we've been sat here for the past five, 10 minutes trying to decide whether to actually do Nandroya Falls today because it's down with rain. It's so wet and we don't really want to do it, but will we regret it if we don't do it? Probably. So we're going to do it anyway. Rainfall means running water. Running water means good waterfalls. I'm ready. 
I also promise I have shorts on under here. <laughs> no, it looks like it doesn't. You look like Paddington Bear. <laughs> Going on the adventure. Mandroya Falls, 2.2k. I mean, already it says the track surface may be rough and slippery. And it's raining, so. <laughs> and here we are, we made it just five minutes into the track. Nandroya Falls. Wow, it's just amazing. Oh, can't wait to go for a swim. Not ready, we've got another hour of walking. <laughs> First stream crossing. Be careful. Well done. So the distance that we're walking to the falls is probably comparable with Wallerman Falls, which was I think 2k. So it's taken us about half an hour to reach the first falls, which is Silver Falls. Like we said earlier today, when it's raining, it means that the water is going to be flowing, which means these waterfalls are going to be putting on somewhat of a show. And it's not disappointing. So we just passed a couple ladies and they said, oh, watch out for leeches. Like there wasn't enough things to worry about in Australia. Snakes, spiders, crocodiles, tiny leeches. Well, this is pretty awesome, isn't it? here at the bottom and normally exactly what we want to do is go and jump in the water but we have passed so many people that have got leech bites all up their legs not only that we just saw what looked like a brown snake crawl through the water crawl through the water swim through the water safe to say regardless there's too many animals that we've seen that we don't like the look of that we won't be go swimming in Nandroa Falls Next on our list is a place just 16 minutes drive from Nandroya Falls, a waterfall which is definitely one of the most famous in the Atherton Tablelands region, Millamilla Falls. So we made it to Millamilla Falls. We did find the right car park in the end, so if you want the iconic view of, I guess if you've got a van or bus, or even just your car, with the waterfalls in the background, then you have to park in the buses and coaches car park. So for now, we are just enjoying a cup of coffee with an amazing view. So we came here around about an hour ago when it was pretty quiet, but it hits around lunchtime and that's when a lot of people start coming by. It's about 5 p.m. The sun is going down. It's completely dark in the waterfalls, but that's fine because all we want to do is just jump in and cool down. Oh, that was so refreshing. It's so cold. I mean, I'm freezing, but considering I've not had a shower for a few days, it was the best way to one, cool off because it was hot, but now I'm cold. But two, just to kind of have that refreshing just dunk. It felt so good. Tell you what, when you swim right over to the waterfalls, it was so much more powerful than I thought. I was looking at James, I couldn't even open my eyes. I me. struggled a little bit actually over there, so I'm glad I didn't go too far under. <laughs> Just enough to experience the sheer power of Mother Nature, but guys, if you ever are in the Atherton region, there's a reason why Mina Mina Falls is such a popular place to visit. But our only recommendation is get here at a time when there's hardly anyone here, which is usually first thing in the morning or later in the day towards sunset. Let's go get some hot coffee or tea. So what's really good about this Atherton region is you might find that a lot of waterfalls have neighboring waterfalls. So you can tick off quite a few in a short space of time. So for instance, we've just finished at Mila Mila Falls and a 10 minute drive away, we've now reached Zilly Falls. I know, bit of a Zilly name. Also, this is quite possibly the worst parking I've ever done. And into the jungle we go! I can hear the falls! They can't be that far. I can hear them already. 
Okay, so Zilli was probably our least favourite on this list. From the official viewpoint, you could really only see the tip of the falls, and we didn't quite fancy the sketchy trek to the bottom of the falls, which isn't an official track. In the end, we decided to jump back in the car and drive only five minutes up the road to another falls with easy access. Next waterfall is... Alinja Falls. And we've got a little friend coming along for the walk too. <laughs> yeah, we're not following you, I promise. <laughs> He's the leader. He's showing us the way. He really is showing us Go the on. way. So the fact that this place is literally a five minute walk from the car park, it has to be on your list when you visit the Atherton region to see all these waterfalls. I think so far, Mila Mila has probably hit the spot for the best swimming hole or yeah. swimming waterfall, but this is definitely a close second and I think if we hadn't gone swimming in Mila Mila, we would definitely go in this one, but we're just a bit too cold today. We're chickening out. <laughs> and this is Alex trying to get back from the falls on their tippy toes, on the slippery rocks. Where are we? We are at Davies Creek Falls. So if you do decide to come to Davies Creek Falls, there's actually a few things you can do whilst you're here. You can camp, there's a circuit track that you can take which is about 850 metres walk around this area. There are the falls which we are going to now which is about 200 metres from the car park and there's also like a little like picnic and swimming area as well which is 300 metres away in the opposite direction. But for now we're going to go in that direction. And after a short five minute walk we are already here. Yay! We do love a quick walk with an awesome view. It looks like we have the place all to ourselves. Come on, Lara Croft. <laughs> I've got my Lara Croft boots on. Woo! Oh, shoes are off. Someone's going in. Freezing. I'm so glad that I braved it and got in. The sun came out for just a little bit, which is really nice. Overall, it was a really good experience because whilst it was a bit of a treacherous drive to get here because it was a corrugated road and <laughs> it is so bumpy. <laughs> what should have taken us 10 minutes took us about half an hour. But when we arrived, it was a five minute walk to these falls. We had the whole place to ourselves for the past hour. It's been absolutely amazing. So put Davies Creek Falls on your List of things to do when you are in the Atherton region. Let's go see Tully Gorge Lookout. So the time is 11.55 and we've just started the trail to what we hope is going to be to the proper lookout from a couple rock pools. So bear with us. <laughs> oh, this isn't a very well maintained path, is it? So I will say the trail gets a little bit sketchy not dangerous, just muddy, a bit sloshy, a bit wet. Are you okay? I'm scared of falling in the water. <laughs> bit grimy. Wear appropriate footwear. Basically, once you go down that trail and you get to a sign that says end of walk, take a left, down, there'll be some rocks going down and then you just have to run parallel with the creek, so the creek's on your right hand side. So you're almost coming back on yourself. And trying not to fall into the creek at the same time. Basically. <laughs> Closer. I think we're almost there. And we found it. We found the pool. So whilst Tully Gorge Lookout is absolutely breathtaking, Depending on what time of year you visit, you might end up with all of these, these flying ants. So maybe choose wisely when you do come down here because they are 
everywhere. I mean, look, you've only got to look at the water. So there's a reason why we didn't swim today. Like now in my top. There he is. Oh, you got him. Wait, time to go back to Naya and yep. head to the next waterfall. Definitely. So that brings us to the end of our waterfall circuit and guide to the Atherton Tablelands. We honestly could have spent more time here and gone on to discover more amazing waterfalls, but now it's time to head further up the coast of Queensland. And off to Cairns we go! Woo! <laughs> I got it on camera. But based on the weather. What was that? Nothing. Oh. You weirdo. <laughs> Excuse me. Was that worth it? Oh, right there. So I found. Filthy. Oh, With the sound of music. <laughs> what took us only what what took us only what 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 